let's take a look at the different page options you have available to you in a notability note. In the bottom right hand corner, tap on the blue circle button to create a new note. Up in the top right hand corner, we're going to tap on the page options button, which is the three blue dots on top of each other. From here, you've got four different options. We're going to take a look at each of them. The first is templates. This is where you can change your page template in settings. You can also change it for every single um, new note that is created. But if you select it when you're inside of a note, it's going to allow you to change that template on the page you're currently working with. So if I change this to a manuscript option or a horizontal grid, I can also change the color of my paper. And then if I tap done, it would change this specific note to the new template. I'm going to come back. You'll also notice up at the top in the right hand corner, you can change it from portrait mode to landscape mode, depending on how you want your paper set up. The top left hand side, you'll see the different types of um, paper settings. Um, these are probably more handy if you're pl planning on printing out your notes in the future. And then you can just go with basic um, paper options, uh, rule, grid, dot. And then you also have different options available for you for colors of the paper, um, along with different paper styles or textures. And you can go through um, all of your different color options. And if there's one that's not there, if you tap the plus sign, you can pick any color from the uh, color wheel. I tap on the three dots again, I can look at the view option. If I tap view, this is going to show me how I'm looking at my paper. So the first option is seamless. Seamless means you're scrolling on your paper vertically, up and down. So if I need to um, write on my paper or I'm going to keep writing, um, it's going to create a new page for me. This bar that you see here in the middle of the page, uh, that one right there, is the page break. Um, so this is page one and this is page two. As soon as I write on a page, if you notice on the right hand side, Notability will automatically give me another page. So I'm now on page three. If I'm using a stylus, I can swipe up and down with my uh, one finger. If I am writing with a finger on the iPad, you would need to use two fingers to swipe up and swipe down or you can use the hand tool um, at the top of the screen and that allows you to navigate through your pages. You tap on those three dots. If I go back to view and this time I choose single page, it's gonna show me one page um, at a time. And in order to get to page two, what I'm gonna need to do is swipe horizontally left and right to go from page to page. And again, if I write on a page, it will automatically add one additional page. This one won't let you um, have seamless. So you notice if I keep writing, it will go off of the page. If I tap on the three dots again and click info, this is gonna give me information about my note uh, when it was originally created, created, the last time I modified it. If I did have words actually in my notes, the word count would adjust. It tells me what page size I'm currently using on this note, my handwriting language, the type of highlighter, and if I do have an Apple Pencil connected, it will show it there. If someone connects an Apple Pencil to your device and it's not your Apple Pencil, this is where you would wanna come in here to d disconnect that Apple Pencil so that now instead of using my pencil to write, I could use um, my fingers instead. The last option, if you click on the three dots, is just your help menu, which is gonna give you some support options from uh, Notability. You can also access that support when you come back out onto your main um, notebook screen by clicking on the question mark button at the bottom of the screen, and it will bring you back to those general help options. So those are your page options inside of an individual note.